How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> 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 Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. 
It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my life. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. 
Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <sighs> Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well, she seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee. You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go.
It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact Heard with individuals seen anything? you suspect Nothing may have luckily. been exposed. Wanna the station is okay. Have a look around. In the event of a <laughs> I'm not suicidal uh, yet. My, my no, the gate up there is closed. The we can hang out Steve. in front of the store and be fine. Sure. Still have a look you around. All. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up. Uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> 